We need to talk about how a neural signal occurs as it travels along a single neuron. And to do this, we need to begin with a discussion of the cell at rest. What are the characteristics of this neuron when it is at rest or when there is no neural signal? To do this, I've drawn another neuron, smaller this time. You know its parts. What is another name for the cell body? What structures branch out from the cell body? What is the long part of a neuron called? And what do you call the portion of the neuron that is just before the synapse? So you should be able to answer those questions at this point. But looking at this neuron on the PowerPoint slide, you see that I've drawn a red box and then I've drawn a bigger red box to show you a magnified view inside. And within the large red box, I've drawn blue lines just to indicate the cell membrane or the outer covering of the neuron, just like we have skin as our outer covering, a uh, neuron has a cell membrane. And then I've shown you inside the cell, and then above and below the blue lines you have outside the cell. I've also drawn some plus signs and minus signs, and these are intended to represent ions. An ion is an electrically charged molecule. It could have a positive charge or a negative charge. And there are different types of ions. There are sodium ions with a positive charge, chloride ions with a negative charge, potassium ions with a positive charge, and inside this cell there are also large protein molecules with a negative charge. Just as our skin has pores or openings, so does the cell membrane of a neuron. And when the cell is at rest, you have ions, positively charged ions and negatively charged ions, moving in and out of the cell. Those large protein molecules with their negative charge are actually too large to fit through these openings, and so they essentially remain inside the cell. So we have ions moving passively in and out of the cell until they achieve a balance. A balance in the context of the amount of each type of ion in and out of the cell, and that's working with the balance of positive and negative ions moving inside and outside the cell. And the result is that the inside of the cell is more negative than the outside when the cell is at rest. And I can actually measure this. I can take microelectrodes, tiny electrodes, place one just outside of the cell membrane, and it's small enough so it doesn't damage the cell, put another one just inside the cell membrane. And then I can hook those microelectrodes up to a voltmeter, and I can read the voltmeter, and it is going to say, when the cell is at rest, minus 70 millivolts. Looking at the top right of the screen, you can see that I've written the resting membrane potential is minus 70 millivolts. Now, this is a portion of the course where some people start feeling intimidated or uncomfortable. They believe they don't like biology, and I don't want you to feel that way. I'm going to be very, very clear about what I want you to know, and here it is. I want you to know that the resting membrane potential of a neuron when it's at rest is minus 70 millivolts. Know that number. And a millivolt is a thousandth of a volt, so you know it's very small. This is different from hooking a 9 volt battery up to a voltmeter and seeing that the battery is 9 volts. This is millivolts, tiny, 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 one thousandth of a volt. I also want you to know that the cell is more negative inside than outside when the cell is at rest. You know why? Because you know about the ion movement. But I'm not going to test you about the ions. I'm going to test you about whether the cell is more negative or positive inside when the cell is at rest. And I want you to know that the resting membrane potential is minus 70 millivolts. And here is how I want you to think about the neuron or the cell at rest. The cell is polarized. There's a potential difference in charge across the membrane. It's more negative inside than outside of the cell. Think about a battery. You've got a negative pole and a positive pole, and it is ready and waiting to do some work. 